Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Sterling High School for the second round of the South Jersey Group 2 Championship between the Audubon Green Wave and your Sterling Lady Knights. I'm Ryan Smith, and along with my tag team partner, Nick Bennett, we will be bringing you tonight's playoff action. The Lady Knights had a bye the first round, while Audubon had to upset Collingswood to get here. Sterling has faced Audubon twice earlier this year, having beaten them twice with ease. But this is playoff time, and anything can happen. Let's get the start lineups. Right now you're listening to the voice of the Lady Knights, Mr. Ken Lippincott. Okay, the starters for the Audubon Green Wave. Number 12, Leslie Snot. Number 21, Denise McGetting. Number 15, Michelle Maloney. Number 33, Alicia Scott. The head coach for the Green Wave, Dallas Boyd. Here are the starters for your Lady Knights. Number 32, Sam Savage. Number 23, Kim Morrow. Number 13, Lauren Durkin. Number 52, Jessica Kopsky. Number 25, Erica Ryan. And there's been a change. Instead of number 32, Sam Savage, the Knights will send out number 21, Lauren Armbruster. The Knights are coached by Bill Ulrich. Referees for tonight's matchup, Kathy Yeager and Donna Martello. The Knights are led by uh, the dynamic duo of Lauren Durkin and Jessica Kowski, both coming into this game averaging just about the same amount of points. Lauren coming in 19.6 a game, and Jessica coming in at 12.5. Green Wave have a pretty good star of their own, and Leslie Snock comes in averaging 17.2 a game. Knights want to pay pretty much good attention on her all night. As we get ready to tip it up, Jesse Kopsky will jump it up for the Lady Knights. It's won by Lauren Durkin. Lauren Arbrus will start the offense. Kimara puts it up for two. A good, good look by number 25, Erica Ryan. Lady Knights put on their full court press. Broken pretty easily. As Colleen Sheridan drives down the lane. Hits the bucket. 2-2 two -two in the early going. Good penetration by Jessica Kopsky, getting the bucket. Good defense by the Knights, forcing the turnover. Five second call down on the baseline. Kim Morrow to inbounds. Jesse's double team pops the ball up. Leslie Snock with the ball. Gets her own rebound. Partially blocked by Lauren Durkin. Two on two for the Lady Knights. Lauren Durkin finishes. Good execution there by the Knights. Early timeout called by Miss Alice Borden, coach of the Green Wave. Knights coming out here with a lot of energy, showing good emotion. Nice one to keep up the high intensity, keep on forcing turnovers, 
and racking up the points here. It's a 6-2 lead here in the early going. Coming out of the timeout, Leslie Snock the inbound. Leslie's a good chunk of their offense. Good move by number 11, Colleen Sheridan. Go to the hoop and get the foul. Just go to the line, trying to quit the three-point play. That was a foul number 21, Lauren Umbruster. That's her first. First team foul for the Knights. Jesse Kopsky brings down the rebound. Back the other way with it. She'll take it herself with no problem. Finishes for two. Back up to a four point lead. Almost taken away by Jesse Kopsky. It's kicked out of bounds by Erica Ryan. Be the green wave ball under the net. Gonna have a holding foul on Erica Ryan. That's her first. Scully out on Kim Mara. She's picked. Kim misses the running left hander. Good penetration by Mara, even though she didn't get the basket. Good job by Lauren Durkin there. Take the baseline as Audubon just left her open. Leslie Snockle walk the ball up. Trying to slow the tempo down. Tempo. Not tempo. <laughs> That's really one key of the beat the lady nights. You gotta slow down the tempo because they are a high scoring team. Yeah. That's true. They have an explosive offense. And that's what Collingswood did, and they kept them down to, to only about a 10-point lead. Leslie Snock for the green wave, get the basket. Jesse Kopsky off the pick and roll. Rims in and out. Sheridan comes down with the ball. She pushes it up court. Again, they slow it down and run the play. Foul number 13, Lauren Durkin, as she tried fighting through the pick. Green Waver trying to free up uh, Snock, trying to get her off and away from Lauren Durkin. Good look down low. For number 21, yet again. They got a 10 8 ball game, just about halfway going through the first quarter. So both teams have come out firing and hit, hitting the baskets. Kim Morrow in and out. Rebounded by Sheridan. She goes down the lane. It's blocked. They're gonna say Jesse Kotze stepped out of bounds. Turnover. We have a substitution into the game. Sophomore Allison Conway. Checks in for Erica Ryan. Allison's seeing a lot more playing time as the season's going on. They found Snock underneath. Ties the ball game up. That's going to be the key for the Green Wave tonight. He's getting the ball to Snock. See what she can do with it. Nice job as a stopper. Lady Knights. Getting good opportunities. 
Ball is just rimming in and out. Kimaro fires from three point range. Nothing but the bottom of the net. Kimaro also one of the top scorers in South Jersey. And there's been a switch up on defense. Now number 23, Kim Morrow is now guarding Snock. Lauren Durkin switches over to number 15, Michelle Maloney. Coach Ulrich wants Morrow on Snock, trying to, to contain her. Turnover on the green wave, traveling call, back the other way. Wide open underneath. Good look for Allison Conway. She falls a little bit short, gets her own rebound. Knights are missing them short little jumpers. Could come, come back and haunt them later. Snock with the fadeaway. Leslie Snock right now putting on a show. Having scored, I believe, 10 out of the first 12 points for Audubon. There's Kotsky. This is the baseline left, and we're going to have an offensive foul underneath. And there's a, another miss easy shot by the Knights. I want to start making them to get some points up. Fouls on Allison Conway. That's her first. Already the team's fourth. Lauren Durkin gets beaten in the middle. And for the first time tonight, Green Wave have a one point lead over the Lady Knights. Jesse Kopsky back out to Kim Morrow. Finds Lauren Durkin. This one falls. I think that's what the Knights want to do, get the ball into Durkin's hands with her experience, see if, it's, see if she can turn, turn the Knights around. They're making their shots. They're not going to have a problem getting the ball inside. Audubon, as you can see, is not really a, a real big team. And if they can get it into uh, a likes like Conway and, and Kopsky and Erica Ryan, they're really going to have no trouble getting some easy baskets. And yeah, it's been shown that Collingswood, Collingswood, or excuse me, Audubon is weak down low. Is Sterling has just been cleaning up everything on the boards. Leslie Snock again gets inside, but this one falls short. Jesse Kofsky's off and running. Good drive by Jesse Kofsky. Snock in the lane. This isn't the NBA. She walks with the ball. And that was, Snock was able to get free due to a pick on number 21, Denise Gadigan. Jesse Kopsky hits the 17 footer. Lady Knights have now gained a five point lead. We're going to have a timeout called second of the quarter by the Green Wave. 54 seconds remaining here in the first quarter. Pretty good tempo to this game in the first quarter here. Yeah, a lot of baskets made. Yes. A lot of action. And surprisingly, Audubon still has not committed a foul. You might think they would be in foul trouble here with them being a little weak down low. It'd be real nice if the noise can get snock and into foul trouble. Making Audubon do a little substitutions here. We should need to see another uh, high-scoring game later here on Channel 18, where the we'll, we'll be covering the boys' uh, first-round playoff game, and they're going to be playing Bridgeton. So check that out later. That's coming up right after this game. Back to action here. McGettigan, excuse me, Sheridan gets it down low, and she puts it up for two.
Good hustle by Allison Conway to fight for that ball and force the jump ball. With the Audubon ball. It's a turnover by green, the Green Wave. Toski tomorrow. She's fouled on the way up. She'll go to the line for two. Good drive by Morrow. It's first down on Snap. First Audubon team fail. 16 seconds left here in the first quarter. Morrow hits the second one. up to a five-point lead again. Snock stops and fires. Again, Audubon has been setting high picks out there for Snock, trying to free her up. Armbruster at the buzzer. A little bit long with the shot. After the first quarter, very high score in the first quarter. Sterling, Lady Knights right now controlling Audubon by a score of 21 to 16. And if I'm Audubon, I'm not too, too disappointed in the way we, they played in the first quarter. Now they got to be really happy with what with what just went on. Yeah, you know, a five point deficit after one. If if they can keep that pace, you know, baskets will fall here and there later in the game. They're going to stay in this ball game. But the key will be defense definitely. If Audubon can play real solid defense through the whole game. They're going to have it, have their chances. Lady Knights, they have to keep them out. Keep them outside right now. They're getting some easy shots inside off some picks. Have to start calling out the screens. Talk to each other. A good, good, good look at the crowd here at Sterling. Second quarter on its way. Kimara with the ball. We have a three-second call. It's Conway trying to get position down low. I don't know about that one. I thought three seconds started when you, when the ball went over half court. But anyway, Audubon's ball. It's not trying to post up Morrow down low. She gets the ball. Turns around, no good. McGettigan with the rebound. She fires a little bit long. Loose Rebounds ball. fault for Kim Kimara comes down with the ball. She'll take on two defenders. It's failed. Good take by Kim Mara. It's foul on number 33, Alicia Scully. It's her first. Second team fell for Audubon. Morrow is perfect four for four from the line so far. Morrow will be back next year for she's only a junior. Lady Knights are only gonna lose three seniors this year. And yeah, it'll be very strong again next year. Yep. Jesse Kopsky's only a freshman, Lauren Arbrewster's only a freshman. Sam Savage is only a freshman, so good things to come for Coach Ulrich and the Lady Knights. Turnover is picked up by Kim Morrow. She finds Lauren Armbruster in the corner. She has time, hits the three-pointer. Good shot by Lauren Armbruster. The Lady Knights have extended their biggest lead, 26-16. Nice trying to open it up here. Leslie Snock with the turnaround. Good defense by Morrow, keeping her all Snock's shots to the outside. Morrow a little bit off, Lauren Durkin. Gets the rebound, her three-pointer is no good. Snock with the ball. I'm surprised at how many shots she's taken so far. She's a really big part of Audubon's offense. Yes, that's the key for Audubon. Got to get the ball into her hands. There she is again, hitting that little 10-footer. 
right inside the lane. Arbors to the top of the key. Now Kim Morrow, she's trying to lose Elisa Scully. Durkin with the pump fake, good move. Good baseline layout by Durkin. Martin was just recently named first team all colonial conference along with Jesse Kopsky. Kim Morrow was named second team. Traveling, Paul. On Scully. Good defense by the Knights, not giving Audubon anybody to pass to, therefore forcing the turnover. We have some subs in for Audubon for the first time in this game. Number 50, Stacy McNulty. And number four, Rebecca Carreri. It's a good take by Jessica Kopsky, and she's found on the floor. The throwing ball out the side. Foul number 50, Stacy McNulty, that's her first. Third team foul for Audubon. Jesse Kopsky trying to look inside. Finally gets it to Lauren Armbruster. She's fouled out top. It's on Rebecca Carreri. Just checked into the game. Nelson Conway now with the ball, lost her dribble. Finds Lauren Durkin. She's double team. We're gonna have an offensive foul. Foul looks to be on Kim Morrow. And we're gonna have it on Lauren Arbrewster. That's her second. She's gonna take a seat. Sam Savage sees the first action of the game. Audubon almost into the bonus. Sterling has 16 fouls. They found fine snock underneath. Short jumpers missed. Rebounded. In there by Leslie. Is that Leslie? No, I'm sorry. <laughs> Stacy McNulty. Jesse yes. Kopsky fouls her. Snock's been going through a little cold spell here. She missed her last three, four shots. Cold spell keeps up. Audubon's going to have to find some new people to start shooting the ball. Kamara off the pick. Finds Allison Conway. Good play. Allison can't finish. Lauren Durkin tries to save it. That was a good play by number 21, Denise McGettigan, as she... Jumped, it, jumped out to save it and banked it off the line. Rebecca brings the ball up. Jesse Kofsky gets in there for the rebound. She looks to push. A little penetration in the dish. Tomorrow a little bit off in three point range. Again, Jesse Kopsky brings down the boards. Right now she's dominating down there. Jesse Lowe was short. Lauren Durkin goes in and misses the rebound. Again, Snock with the ball. Splits the two defenders. It's a good job by Mara to get her hand on it. No call on the play. Sim Savage passes up the three-pointer. Kim Morrow almost loses out of bounds. Knocked, knocked away by an Audubon player. Good job by number 32, Sam Savage, to realize that the ball was going out on Audubon and her not trying to go 
Also out and save it. Colleen Sheridan back into the game. Tomorrow's foul. Sorry, we're gonna go the other way with that. I believe we have an uh, illegal pick called on oh, number 52, Jessica Kofsky. That's gonna put Audubon on the line for one on one. Excuse me, number 44, Allison Conway. We have the foul. Conway is three. Personal, so she'll come out. And 25, Erica Ryan comes in. First one's good. Savage brings the ball up for Knights. It's Erica Ryan. Out to Tchaikovsky. She'll pull up the long jumper, no good. Gets her own rebound. A little pump fake and shoots it over two people, no good. Rebound by number one, Lavin Sheridan. She'll bring it up. She's running coast to coast, oh, and she can't get the layup. Rebound by Kofsky. She'll run it up. More at the top. Good look down low, Ryan. She was open, but just went off her fingertips. The odd line ball. Number 25, Jen Horan. Checks into the game for the first time. For Audubon. Shots missed by Rebecca Corey. Dangerous pass there underneath by Sam Savage. Don't want to do that. Kimaro puts it up for two. A little stutter step by Morrow. Freezing the defender. She flew right by her. Snock finds Sheridan down the baseline. It's short. Here comes Lauren Durkin. Running down here is Sterling. Kimaro pops another three. Again, short. So let the ball go out of bounds. We're gonna think, have white basketball. I think what the Green Bay want to do now is slow the pace down right now to the pace where the Knights like. And if this pace keeps up all game. It's just gonna be a long night for the Green Wave. Tomorrow. Again, puts it up with two. Really having no problem getting by her defender. Sheridan popped a 15-footer from outside. Audubon has not been shooting the ball well here in the second quarter. They're still in this ball game, though. I mean, you got it. they're only down nine points. A minute left here in the first half. That ain't big. Consider number they're playing number eight, Sterling. Tomorrow the inbound. Finds Lauren Durkin underneath. Good defense. By Audubon. Leslie Snock with the ball. Good job by Snock drawing the double team and dishing it out. Tomorrow's knocked down to the floor. Fouls on number four, Rebecca Corey. That's her second. Forty seconds left here in the first half. Jesse Kopsky passes up. The shot gives it to Sam Savage. She hits her first bucket of the game. Eleven point lead for the Lady Knights. Five second call, good defense by Sam Savage. Force a turnover. Late sub. Number 15, Michelle Maloney, checks back into the game. The 
number four, Rebecca Corey takes a seat, having two fouls. Kim Morrow, good luck for Lauren Durkin underneath. Wet ball movement by the Knights. They worked it all the way around. Got a good penetration and dish by Morrow. Leslie Snock at the buzzer. No good. The Lady Knights are going to the locker room with their biggest lead. At halftime, Sterling right now over Audubon, 36-23. We'll be back with second half action after this. Welcome back to Sterling High School for second round of, excuse me, second half of the Group 2 playoffs. If you missed the first half, pretty high-tempoed game so far. High scoring between both teams. Both teams hitting most of their shots. Leslie Snock for Audubon put on a pretty good performance. Yeah, she had a real good first quarter, but she struggled in that second quarter, missing most, if not all, of her shots. She probably went into the locker room trying to regroup herself and probably come to come back, probably come back strong. Look for Audubon to get the ball into her hands, trying to get her back on track. As uh, Sheridan just tried to get it in down, down deep for Snock. Kim Morrow right now on her. Practically base gardener. Snock finds Sheridan. And she's hit across the arm by Erica Ryan. So Erica didn't really see that much playing time in the first half. I she would be seeing a lot in the second half. Conway on the bench with three fouls. Well, that was Erica's second. A lot of fouls committed in the first half by the Lady Knights. Already they have won this half. Audubon really did score a lot of points on Sterling. Lady Knights usually hold their opponents to a real low total. Usually, usually with under 30, 35 points, and already they have 25. That was a good drive by Lauren Durkin there, taking a strong to the hoop. It was rejected by Sam Savage. She said, get it out and don't come back. Snock with the ball. Good strip by Morrow. Morrow just being Snock up. Snock, oh, Snock's getting frustrated right now. Morrow's all over. We're going to have a foul called on her. From my angle right here, it looked like a clean strip of the ball. Yes, and Snock could have got away with a walk. There. Yeah, exactly. Snock rejected by Morrow. We've got three Lady Knights players jumping up and down for it. Oh, and she's bumped by Snock. If she's giving a little let to the ref, she better be careful or she's going to get a technical. It was clearly a, a foul on Snock as Mono had it and he was, he was bumped out by Snock. That's Snock's second. Let's see if Snock gets out of her game right now. It's right now arguing with the refs. Not really happy with the game she's having, so. Jesse Kopsky gets free, dishes it off to Kim Morrow. Good luck for Kanisha Wright, right. who has just checked into the game for Erica Ryan. Kanisha also a freshman. Ball's knocked away. Good job by Morrow there, denying the ball. Sam Savage has the ball. And it's knocked out of bounds. They say by Sam Savage. Coach Arp really not happy with that call either. Snock finds it on the baseline. She goes up for the rebound, misses. Falls down in the process. Snock seems very frustrated. She cannot get the ball to go through the basket. Jesse Kopsky, wide open. Good work between Morrow and Kopsky, passing it back and forth. Easy jump shot for Jesse Kopsky. Timeout called by Audubon. 
Right now the score 42 to 25. Knights coming out here flying. Start the second half. Just over two minutes gone here. Just a reminder, guys and dolls, the spring musical for the drama department here at Sterling High School will be be performed April 2nd, 3rd, and 4th. There will be a special Saturday matinee at 2 o'clock. Let's come up to the Sterling High School Auditorium. Watch another great musical by the Sterling Drama Department. I think this timeout by Audubon is not only to, to calm down their whole team and regroup, but to give Snock a rest and calm her down before she goes into a failing frenzy here. And she seems very frustrated. As Kim Morrow is just playing excellent defense on her. Well, this is, this is a time when big players have to step it up. Yes, and if Audubon wants to pull out of here with a win, she's going to have to... She's going to have to get on her game. Exactly. There she is with the ball right now. Looking to take Mara one-on-one. -on -one. She's trying to work off a screen. Could have a legal, offensive foul. Yeah, a legal pick on number 11. Colleen Sheridan. Durkin with the ball. Alley oop for off the screen. She's hitting the mouth. Good job by Durkin to get that shot up. It, it, she had two people on her. Sugar the line for two. Durkin hits the first one. A lot of fouls here in the early going as each team has committed three team fouls here. Lauren pretty quiet so far it's tonight's ball game. It's Jesse Kopsky and uh, Kim Morrow picked up most of the offense so far. Lost out of bounds as they come right up in our booth. Well, and the Knights could have looked like they got away with a call there as it looked like it went off number 32, Sam Savage's foot. And the rest were hearing it from number 15, Michelle Maloney, and she had a good complaint there. We have a pushing foul underneath. Foul's going to be on 33, I believe. That was on 20. Oh, yeah, that's right. 33. Alicia Scully. That was right the first time. Lauren Durkin. Right off the box. Puts it up for two. As the Lady Knights right now have their biggest lead of the ball game. Commanding 21 point lead. Three minutes gone here in the second half. Savage. Oh, and re the ball. Rejected by Jessica Kopsky. She goes up for another block, but she's whistled for the fail. As Kopsky got the first block on over 54 snap, she continues to struggle here. Substitution here for. The Knights is number 23, Kimara comes out, and Lauren Umbrister comes in. Coach Howard giving Mara a well-deserved rest. Sam Savage brings up the ball. It's both Sam Savage and Lauren Umbrister into the game right now. Small lineup in the backcourt. A young one, too, as they're both freshmen. Right yeah, now. four freshmen on the floor right now. That's hard to believe. You're playing in a group group two playoff game, and you got four, four freshmen, freshmen on the floor. You got good things to come. Good hustle. As, a, as again. Comes right up in our booth. 
in bed from uh, Lardo and Brewster and number 15 Michelle Maloney went hard to the floor. Michelle seems to got injured right there. She goes off. That's Snog going for the three and there was a push by Snog on Arm Brewster. She's very frustrated. Arms found number 32 Sam Savage. She's hit on the arm. Even yelling at the refs after they make the call for her. Nice better keep a, or the, excuse me, the refs better keep an eye on Snock as she just gave a real mean shove in the arm booster in the back for no apparent reason. Better keep a good eye on her. This could be a good out of hand. This isn't football season here. Come on. Long with the foul shot. Rebounded by Sheridan. No good. Battle for it underneath. His bodies go flying. Finally, Jesse Copson comes up with the ball. <laughs> Sam Savage is fouled. It's on Rebecca McCory. That's going to be her third. Again, more shoving down underneath. You see Lauren Armbrus right there. This thing's starting to get physical. And Lauren Darkin is just starting to heat up here. Wide open with Sheridan as she picked up the trash on, underneath. Puts it up for two. 20 point ball game, 50 to 30. Three and change remaining. Bad pass by Kanisha Wright. Allison Conway into the game. Kanisha will take a seat. Conway's got to be careful here. She's coming over three fouls. That's play just good solid defense. Try not to commit any fouls. Ball up for Audubon. As Lauren Durkin is now playing Snot. Good call there by the ref. I saw that. That was number <laughs> number 50. Stacy McNulty, the moving pick. And there's been, a, that's at least three on Audubon as they've been sending a lot of picks trying to free up Snot. That was their game plan coming in. And they've been pretty much sticking with it throughout the whole game so far. Jesse Kopsky right off the screen. Got of a foul before the shot, I believe. She's going to the line for one and one anyway. No basket on the play. 17 fouls committed already here in the third quarter for more about the wave. I've heard him coming down the stretch. You don't want Knights going to the line a lot. Jesse Kopsky hits the first one. Substitution. Back in the game is Denise McGettigan. McNulty will take a seat. She has run up three personal fouls so far. Find Snock underneath. Turn around, fade away, no good. Kopsky says get it out. Good block by Jesse Kopsky. She says she doesn't want none of that in there. Snock continues to struggle. She missed another shot there. What am I coming with a full court press? Is any turnovers and any fast? To try to make up a 24 point lead deficit. Two looks minutes like, to go they're, looks like they're double teaming right now. 
Good job there by the Green Wave to force the turnover. Slock has the ball. Kim Morrow reaches in. She's fouled. That's a 16 foul on the Lady Knights. Good luck for McGettigan. It's blocked. She gets the ball back. Stripped away by Sam Savage. Finds Lauren Armbruster. Back out to Kim Morrow. Good luck for Allison Conway. Oh, and Snock. She's fouled hard by Snock. Blatantly just hit Allison Conway. Looks like an intentional. Oh, no. no. We're going to have a three second call before the foul. the reaction of the fans here as they show their disagreement with the refs. Snock misses badly on the three. Something's got to be done to keep her under control. Definitely. Kimara looks to drive at the Lauren Durkin. Puts it in for two. She's been picking it up here in the second half. Double dribble. Good defense by Sam Savage forcing the turnover. Savage brings it off in the Knights. Durkin. Snock misses as she tried to strip Allison Conway. Kimaro drives baseline, a little short. Conway with the rebound. I believe they called another three second violation on Conway. I don't know what they called. Coach R definitely not happy with the calls being made. Conway just been hammered down low and they're just not getting the calls. Again, stock with the ball out in the corner. Good defense by Morrow. Good strip by Savage. Morrow picks it up. Sheridan loses the ball. And Snock fouls her from behind. Now, this is unbelievable. <laughs> Snock has just been very frustrated, just running around, hitting anything in her way. She has not been the same since that first quarter when Coach Hallrick made the switch. She's going to take the first seed of, of, of the ball game. She has three personal fouls. Nine seconds remaining here in the third quarter. When Coach Hallrick made the switch to put Morrow on Snock, Snock has just been awful. Audubon coach right now trying to calm her down on the bench. Sharon misses as the buzzer sounds. there's a a foul right before the whistle. I think they're going to call one. Uh, now they say the... the no, the buzzer sounded. Yeah, the buzzer sounded before the foul was committed. And, and that's the end of the third quarter. What a wild third quarter it was. A lot of action. Yes, and Audubon coach Alice Borden does not like that call by the ref. Sterling increased their lead over Audubon by a score of 56-30. to 30. Get a look at the parents, other fans here at Sterling High School in attendance. Pretty packed house for tonight's game. We got a, another boys game right after this. And that should be a real good one. Another good game. Good action here at Sterling High School this winter. Both basketball teams along with the wrestling team. I'd like to mention right now Mark Mancio, Mike Brickian, Brad Alcorn, Last night advanced to the next round of the Region 8 Championships. It's the wrestling team probably having one of their best years in Sterling history this year. Give credit to Coach of the Year, Mr. Ahern. He's done a fabulous job with that team. Good job by number 33. Scully to force the turnover. 
she'll pull off just inside the three-point line. Kovsky pulls down the rebound. He's not still on the bench here to start the fourth quarter. Kim Morrow fires from long range. No good. Fight for the rebound. Five, six, seven bodies on the floor. Good hustle by like, both teams. It's like bowling pins going down. Probably we're going to end up with green wave ball. Away, Lauren Another oh. good block by Jesse Kopsky. Kopsky threw that one out of this building. What a dominating force inside she is. Ah. Shot's a little short. And the crowd has the uh, air ball chant going. Wow. Oh, a hard foul. Wow, unbelievable. Lauren Durkin. is a foul committed by number 21, Gettigan. Durkin comes up, holding her elbow. But she shakes it off. This might be a good time for Coach Art to start thinking about maybe getting some of these starters out. we got a 26-point lead, six and a half minutes to go. Mm -hmm. Don't want to risk injury for your your You're good to advance the second round. What do you got to lose? Where you got the game, so see if he keeps them in there. So I see one coming off the bench. There's Kanisha Wright getting ready to check in. Lauren Durkin hits the first free throw. Possibly for Kopsky, maybe. Nah, it's going to be for for the shooter, Lauren Durkin. Good decision there by Coach Allwork. Yeah, yes it is. Especially now that uh, Snot comes back into the game. Lauren Durkin hits a second. She'll take a seat. Good performance here in this game by Lauren Durkin. Yeah, she, great second half she had. Yes. It was kind of quiet in the first half, but came on. She showed the PT peer that she was. Again, Snock cannot make it. That's two misses for Snock. Kowski gets the rebound and she's failed. Snock looks like she's just going to explode since she has not made a basket. And she just continues to struggle shooting. Very poorly here, especially in the second half. As the uh, Lady Knights are in the double bonus right now, 10 team fouls for Audubon. She'll shoot two. It's the second one. 29 point lead, six and change to go here. Snock has the ball, throws it away. Stolen by Erica Ryan. Snock trying to get it down to McGett again, but she had turned right before the pass. Morrow misses. She's fouled. She fouls McGettigan. McGettigan will come down and She'll be shooting one and one. It's snock in there. Loose ball. Pick up by foul. Underneath. Holtefell will go to the line for the green wave. Yeah. 
Count on Kanisha Bryant, that's her first. Something shot's good. So right now Audubon showing a full court press. A little late for that. Lady Knights get it over half court. Pretty much ease. Good luck by Sam Savage for Erica Ryan. Can't finish. It's knocked down low to number 15. Maloney, she can't get it. Up strong goes to get again and she's failed. Again, the foul on Kanisha Wright, that's her second. Snock with the rebound, she goes up strong, she misses again. Jesse Kopsky had her foot out of bounds when she touched that one. The Audubon ball. Fifty-nine, thirty-one. Oh, and a block from behind by Sam Savage. Kanisha Wright brings down the rebound. We have a little block party going on here at Sterling. <laughs> Three on one, good execution. Except Jesse Kopsy just can't finish it. We got to get with the board. Oh my! <laughs> That's just wrong. It's a <laughs> clinic, baby. I'm sorry, Robbie. That's just wrong. That should. That's just wrong. <laughs> How many times does Jessica Kosky have to remind them not to come in her house? We're gonna have a new building right under the neck, down close to us. <laughs> so many bricks <laughs> down there. Good defense by Sam Savage. Shot is missed by Rebecca Corey. And what's surprising is that Audubon just keeps on driving to the net, even though they've been blocked God knows how many times, but they still keep on going. Not gonna walk the ball up. She looks to go one on one against Morrow. She gets the pick. Running left hander is no good. And she has struggled tremendously. Nothing really game. going uh, Green Wave's way here in the fourth quarter. Wide open underneath is Kanisha. It's nice to have a lead up to 30 with 3.30 left here to go. Been all the nights, all nights here uh, tonight. Fourth shot by McGettigan, no good. Kofsky brings down the board. Outlets tomorrow. She'll drive. Tomorrow, no problem on the layup. Because Audubon seemed just to, just to be running away and just didn't want to play defense there. And tomorrow said thanks. Just put easy layup in. We're going to have a timeout called by Audubon by Coach Borden. 63-31 remaining here in the fourth quarter. Three minutes left. So we can safely say that Lady Knights will advance to the third round of the Group 2 championship. And we do have to give credit to Audubon as they went in and they were underdogs to Collingswood and came out with a victory. And they were certainly big underdogs coming into here. They got to be happy that they got this far. Coach Orrick made substitutions at a timeout. 
Lauren Duncan comes back in. Number 50, Amanda Rambo. Sees her first action along with number 35, Ruthie Santana. They're getting him with the ball. Sorry, that was Sheridan with the ball. Snock puts it up. She's fouled. Armbruster brings the ball up for the Knights. Man, the ram at the top of the key. Conway down the Armbruster. Durkin dribbles back to the top of the key. Down to Santana. Down to Conway. Partially blocked from behind. She's not going to look up. She finds him again. Again, getting in stops, fires. Good defense by Conway to get her body set. Of course, in the tough shot from the Yegan. Lauren Durkin and Sheridan down on the floor. Jump ball. Audubon. Ball underneath. Now in Snock. Coming down. They pretty much let her go for the easy layup. She finally makes a basket. That's her first one in a long time. Entry pass down low to Conway is blocked off by Snow. There's a there's a foul on the floor. Foul on the 21 on home booster. Getigan down low. Good move. She's fouled in the process. She'll go to the line and shoot two. Denise McGettigan at the line. Found number 50, Amanda Rambo, her first. Getigan comes from a long line of good Audubon players. Had a couple brothers, played basketball, also played baseball. Second shot's a little bit off. Lauren Durkin comes down with the ball. They're going to say she stepped on the line. She just laughs it off. And she had three players on her. And Lauren Armbruster came out for Sterling at number 43. Melissa Bloom. Bloom, Bloom yeah, yeah. Comes in. Awesome Conway comes out with the ball. We have another foul. That's her fourth. <laughs> Allison Conway getting ready to shoot her second shot. A little bit long. And Sheridan with the rebound. Just a walk there. I'm going to say Snock came from behind half court. Audubon fans still yelling at the refs. They don't give up. A minute 27 left. Rosie Santana fires from the baseline a little long. Here, here comes Snock the other way. He looked at McGett again and she just bricks the layup. Lauren Durkin off and running two on one with Rosie Santana. Good execution. As Rosie gets a point. Senior's got to feel good. Scott goes down there with ease. Lauren Durkin not really wanting to pick up a foul or do anything stupid here late in the game. Amanda Rambo into the game. It's just back and forth basketball right now. 
And the crowd is, has a it's all over chant going here with 40 seconds to go. Good turnout tonight by Sterling students. Holtzfeld goes to the line for the green wave. She missed the first. Shots no goal. She misses both of them. Rebound by McGett again. She forces a shot. No good. Bologna with the rebound. Out there with Amanda Rambo. Amanda Rambo takes the ball up the court, passes to Rosie Santana, and she's fouled. That was good commentary by Sterling Guard for the boys, number 25, Maurice Dozier, getting in on the action. He's getting ready to play their game coming up. Reese just went down a little taste of what it's like behind the announcement. I think we'll let him go back out on the court. McGettigan get, gets inside. That's another foul is called. Got to be 30 plus fouls here in the, in the second half. Yeah, I believe they stopped counting back at the beginning of the third quarter. It's Audubon makes substitutions. Knock and McGettigan come out and they get a stand innovation from the Audubon crowd here. Good applause from McGettigan by the Audubon fans. Holtzfeld goes to the line once again for the green wave. Sheridan with the rebound, puts it up. Ten seconds left here in the game. Let's go about do it. We'll let it Right down itself. Five seconds. Right open to Rosie Santana, and she's fouled. Number 33. I knew we couldn't get down Scully. that last 10 seconds without a foul being called. And two seconds left. Had to commit a foul. So we're going to make Rosie Santana earn her two from the line. First one's a little long. Sarcastic uh, applause here by the Audubon fans. There seems to be a little war going on between the Sterling fans and the Audubon fans. But that's all right because the game is over and the Sterling Lady Knights just demolished the Audubon Green Wave by a score of uh, 67 to 42. We got a little commotion down here on the court anyway. That's a